Hello nurses, this is Kevin with nursingcamp.com and these are my scribble notes on nursing and the NCLEX. Today's focus is going to be on this sticky note, adenosine versus amiodarone from my other sticky note oops, of the ABCs and priority medications. And these are the acute meds in a hands-on lane, adenosine and amiodarone. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so adenosine and amiodarone. All right, so adenosine first. The mnemonic for adenosine is adenosine is on the scene to stop S-T-O-P-S-V-T. So it's generally given for PSVT, which is this rhythm right here. And that's a super fast rhythm. Anywhere greater than 180, it can go up to 280. So it's really, really fast. And the interesting thing about adenosine is that when you give adenosine, the patient flatlines. And then it resets. So the SA node goes to the AV node. And for whatever reason, it's firing super, super, super fast. Super ventricular above the ventricles. And the method is that you give six milligrams IV push fast and they're gonna get a flushing sensation they might feel a little nauseous and then what happens to the rhythm is you're actually gonna kill the patient and they're gonna stop they're gonna flatline and then they, hopefully the SA node will pick up back again and they go into sinus rhythm that's the ideal situation so what if that doesn't happen? Well, we can repeat adenosine. And what we can do is, is that we give 12 milligrams, the second dose. So you start with six milligrams, you push, they flatline, and hopefully it goes back to SA node, normal sinus rhythm. But if it repeats itself, We give adenosine, 12 milligrams, we repeat. Now what if that doesn't work? Well, if that doesn't work, we have to use um, electricity. And we cardiovert that patient with a Zoll or a defibrillator where it's put onto their chest. And we defibrillate that patient. And shock them to hopefully convert that rhythm. Okay, so as with the NCLEX, though, generally we don't use medications first. Okay, so in NCLEX questions, it's generally what does the nurse do first? And what the nurse does first is tries vagal maneuvers. And vagal is our cranial nerve 10, and that's the vagus nerve, affects the heart. And what we want to do is, is we want to have that patient bear down to hopefully try to slow down that rhythm for a second. So it can go to normal sinus rhythm. So if vagal maneuvers don't work, then we have to go to the medication. And adenosine 6, and repeat for 12. Now it's part of the ACLS rhythms, which is Advanced Cardiac Life Science, and is necessary for um, a conversion. If it doesn't convert, then we use uh, medications. Uh, we use uh, defibrillators. All right, so like I said, they'll have a flushing, impending doom feeling, nausea, dizziness. They might get a metallic taste in their mouth. Uh, we question this medication with um, patients with sick sinus syndrome, sick sinus syndrome, and with flutters. Because in flutter, the SA node isn't working correctly. But with SV2, it is working. It's just originating above. Okay, next, amiodarone. Now, amiodarone, which I like to call amislodarone, slodarone, it works on the conduction. You have the SA node to the AV node, and then it goes to the bundle of Hiss and the Pecundi fibers. And that looks like the SA node is the P wave, QRS, and then the T wave. 
And the AV is somewhere in here. It gets lost because the contraction is so large right here. Well, with AFib, um, this is not working. And so you have this going on. You have no P wave. And with amiodarone, what we try to do is that we try to give amiodarone through a drip, and it goes anywhere from 48 to 96 hours on this drip. So we do a loading dose, and then we um, we keep up amount of maintenance dose, so chronic over time. And what we try to do is is that we try to slow down the conduction of the SA node, which is not firing, but we slow down the automaticity. So the SA to the AV, well, there's a problem in here. So what we do is we slow down this reaction, this conduction, through our sodium, potassium, and chloride channels. And what happens is that slowly, as it slows down, hopefully this SA node up here wakes up and we see a P wave. So it's generally held for if a patient has a second or third degree block because there's an actual problem in here with the P wave. So the P wave is actually firing, but it's just not firing at the right time. See my blocks lecture on that. Um, if they have low magnesium, that's also a problem. Also, if they have an iodine allergy with amiodarone. But some other things with amiodarone. Whoops. Uh -oh. With amiodarone, we have to worry about... Um, hold on a second. More specifically, um, the PO medication. So once they started on the PO medications, they were at risk for pulmonary fibrosis. And how that presents itself is um, with wheezes. And the problem with that is with amiodarone or amisloderone, once a patient starts to show wheezes, it's too late because the half-life is 45 days. It's an awful long time for a medication to be in the body. So stopping this is going to take 45 days for that to come out. And if they're showing pulmonary fibrosis, that patient is acute. Um, what are some things that we look for? It's also given during um, ACLS. And that's important to know because it is an ACLS med, and it's dealt with for uh, VTAC and VFib. And what it does is it, once again, slows down the conduction, sodium, potassium, calcium channels, and hopefully tries to slow things down to hopefully convert that rhythm. So that's a newer addition. Um, it's also kind of like with lidocaine that they used to use. They still do use lidocaine. Um, but it's antidysrhythmic. And it's given for ventricular rates. And ventricular rates that are more important, uh, like VTAC and VFib. And so you'll see that in ACLS algorithms. See my lecture on ACLS um, MedCamp, where I cover that more importantly. OK, my name is Camp, and this is Nursing Camp. And I'm covering the medications, adenosine versus amisloderone. Uh, you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and Etsy, Nursing Camp, um, or nursingcamp.com. That's it for me. We'll see you next time. Now nurse on.